In this short video, we're just going to have a look at how water can be treated and how some questions might be put towards this in exams. So the best way to use this video is to go follow the link below and download the question sheet. Watch the video, poison it, poison it, it at key points. Note down anything that you are unsure about or anything that you think that you will need to go and answer the questions. Answer the short answer questions, then use these answers to help answer the longer answer questions. Raw water may contain dissolved salts, minerals, microbes, pollutants and insoluble materials such as sand and stone. Water is treated to remove any harmful components. This can be done in several ways. So filtration, so the water is sprayed into separately prepared layers of gravel and sand. As it trickles through, different sized insoluble solids are removed. The filter beds are then cleaned periodically and pumped clean and clean water is pumped through them after. Sedimentation can be used. So sedimentation is where a chemical is added which causes tiny solid particles to clump together into larger ones. These can then be allowed to go and settle out at the bottom of a tank and are then filtered out. And chlorination is used. So chlorine gas is injected into the water to sterilize it. The chlorine kills the microbes within the water. So, if we now go and look at the process as a whole. So we start off with screening it. So screening removes grit and large molecules and large particles such as branches, trees, leaves, fish. A coarse filter is then used to remove medium sized particles. Sedimentation allows tiny particles to settle out in still water. Right, this produces sewage sludge and effluent which can then be scraped off the top. The sewage sludge is then digested anaerobically by specific bacteria. The fine filter of sand goes and removes any fine or small particles. So the effluent from that is treated with aerobic bacteria to reduce the volume of solid waste. And finally, the water is treated with chlorine and then pumped to people's homes. So the process of chlorination can come up quite often as there are arguments for and against it. So chlorine is used to make bleachers, plastics, medicines. Uh, it's also used to go and sterilize swimming pools. So chlorine is used to make water safe to drink. It's relatively cheap and easy to use. People who drink untreated water risk dying from things like typhoid or cholera. However, chlorine is a poisonous chemical. It causes some breathing difficulties and can kill people. So some people are also allergic to chlorine. So one question that could come up is that in developing countries are likely to use chlorination as a method to make drinking water safe. Suggest why? The main reason why is that chlorine can be added to it. It doesn't take a huge expenditure in building a water treatment plant. You can use chlorine pills to drop in and just put, that will just put a small amount of chlorine into the water, which will sterilize it. So the main reason why they're going to use it in developing countries is that it's a much cheaper option than going and doing other methods. So if there's been anything that you've been unsure about, go back, watch it again, 
and make sure that you download the question below and have a go at it.